my God, Mr. Minister, you're very welcome to the House. And in the very few moments that I have um, have you here, I want to ask you, Minister, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and to, 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 are you going to listen to women? Are you going to listen to experts like Safe Ireland, who have who have written endless reports? Um, looking at this, no going back, and it would be it would be a, a great. Um, to you and to all, and for all women of Ireland, that you would listen to organisations like Safe Ireland. And before you answer um, our questions, Minister, I want you to think of the girls, the vulnerable women, the women that we have lost, and the girls that we have lost in this country, and the women and girls who are afraid to go out in the streets today, who are afraid to go home, who are afraid to to go on public transport. We don't need we don't need fancy words. We don't need plumos, and we don't need to be told that um, we we'll make things better. We need action, and we need tough action very straight, very quickly. On behalf of Minister McIntyre, who unfortunately can't attend today, I would like to thank the senators for raising this very serious topic. I know that Minister McIntyre has offered to come into this house um, as early as possible at a date that can be agreed to make statements. I want to begin by offering my sincere condolences to the family and friends of Ashley Murphy and her community as they mourn and grieve the loss of a much loved and talented young woman. Her funeral mass yesterday heard that her death had taken the life of a talented, loved and admired teacher and musician, but had since united the entire country in grief and in support. There is also, I think, now a real determination that we must come together to demand the zero tolerance of violence against women. Along with her cabinet colleagues, Minister McAtee has been working on our na new national strategy to tackle domestic, sexual and gender-based violence, and it will be published within weeks. The goal is clear, zero tolerance of violence against women. But the new strategy recognises that this is a problem that can only be solved by all of society and the government working together. It is not simply a criminal justice issue. The new strategy will be structured around four pillars or goals, prevention, protection, prosecution and coordination of policies. The prevention goal, for example, involves working towards the eradication of the social and cultural norms, yes, among men, that underpin and contribute to gender-based violence. That means appropriate education from primary school up on healthy relationships, gender equality and consent. It also means calling out inappropriate behaviour when we see it, in work, out socialising, in WhatsApp groups, to protect victims, the new strategy will ensure that their right supports are available, such as refuge spaces for anyone who needs one. Reforms are already underway to ensure victims are treated with professionalism and sensitivity at every interaction with the criminal justice system. We must also prosecute and punish the perpetrators who inflict suffering on so many women. Again, our zero tolerance approach to violence against women will be reflected in the law. This new strategy is being developed in partnership with the sector to ensure it is targeted, comprehensive and effective in achieving all of the goals set out. There is real determination across the government, across the sector and, as we have seen in recent days, across society to bring the change that we need to see. Minister McAtee welcomes the views, the inputs and ideas of all members as we finalise the third national strategy, which will have zero tolerance at its centre and which will be the most ambitious national strategy that we have seen to date. Thank you, Gareth.